another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with Quick Hits. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, just to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. I'm going to do a little follow-up show from yesterday's show on Canelo and Plant. Um, and I still think Canelo versus Plant is going to happen, but there's another name in the mix. And it's WBA light heavyweight champion, Dimitri Baval. Uh, Baval is undefeated. He is 18 and out. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, uh, I guess I come at you twice a day, every day. Uh, please like and subscribe our, to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, I'm going to add, start adding a lot more content to that. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, so please subscribe to that channel. Help us get us monetized. Um, so we can uh, start fighting autism uh, together immediately. Um, but before we get uh, – let's get into today's show. Um, I think this Dimitri Baval thing is a negotiating tactic. Um, Plant seems unhappy. Um, and I, I think Canelo and Hearn are a little – Surprised at the plan fight not getting made. He's offering $10 million. Um, I, I still think that fight's going to happen. Look, Caleb Plant's made some good money. He ain't ever had no $10 million payday, nor will he ever get that again if he doesn't fight Canelo. He could get these again if he fights Canelo and beats Canelo, but... In order to become a star that makes eight figures, you have to go through Canelo, right? Like there used to be a saying, in order to win the Heisman, um, you need to either play for Notre Dame or play against Notre Dame. Um, in order to make eight-figure paydays in this sport, you have to either be Canelo or go through Canelo, right? Like that's kind of like the blueprint. Um, so they're talking about him fighting on the undercard of Ruiz and Ortiz. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. If you pick up a Canelo fight, which would be the biggest fight of the year, to fight on Ruiz Ortiz undercard in co-main, forget about it. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, that, that That's a negligence lawsuit, in my opinion, to his management team. That's embarrassing. Um, but they're throwing around Bavol's name. Um, you know, Bavol's a long reign, like, reigning champion. Bavol's been a champion going all the way back to um, Trent Broadhurst, I think, right? In 2017. He's been a champion for four years. Um, he's got with him Sullivan Brer, Isaac Slumba, John Pascal, Joe Smith Jr., uh, and that's 18 to 2019. And then after that, he's got a win, a uh, lackluster win over Lennon Castillo who's not a great name. Uh, and then the bad one, look, that fight comes off a year and a half layoff. Right? He fought Castillo, Lenny Castillo. Then it was off a year and a half and fought Craig Richards, um, Spider Richards. In a fight, I had him winning, but it was oh so close. In a fight that should not have been close. Um, Craig Richards is a good fighter. He beat Shaq, uh, Shaq and Peter, Pitters. I, I can never say that right. Um, if you go back to just one fight before that, so we're not going all the way back in his resume, right? We're going back to one one fight before the, uh, the Pitters fight. He, he had a draw with a guy named Chad Sugden. Guys. Um, and then he also has a loss... Um, uh, much earlier in his career to Frank Buglioni. I'm not holding 
not want to guess it too much. That was long ago. It was 2017, very early in his career. Um, I'm not holding that against him too much. He went on. He won a bunch of fights in a row. And then he had the draw as a chat. So this is a flawed fighter in Spider Richards. This is not a world beater. And this is a guy I had before winning, but it was oh so close. Uh, I, I thought – of all, beat him. Richards came on strong. He's like, yeah, this was the old day. This was a 15 round fight. Bavol was losing. Look, Bavol's a guy that fights out of his weight class. Bavol's a 168 pounder. I, I was at his camp when he uh, was at his camp. I was at the weigh in when he fought Joe Smith Jr. And I asked his camp, what, What's he going to weigh tomorrow? He said about 178. So this is a guy who can make 168 easily. And he told, they, they told her that if um, they. Want to come down to 68? That's fine. Just let us know now so we can make the weight. He's not going to have any problems making 68. Canelo may weigh more than him when they step in the ring. Uh, but Vol oh, if you go back, you watch the Castillo fight, you watch the Joe Smith fight, he's noticeably the smaller guy in the ring. Like They don't look like the same weight class. So it's not a weight issue. He can go down to 68. It's not a problem. Um, my concern is, like, it's fine. Like, it, 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 if he gets, if Bavol gets this fight, it's unfortunate that we don't get undisputed, but it's not the it's not a bad fight at all. It's a good fight. It's not the fight we want, which is Caleb Plant. Um, and for that reason, I still think the Caleb Plant fight's gonna work. I still think it's gonna happen. I, I think this is a negotiating tool to light a fire under Canelo. Uh, under Caleb Plant, like, look, sign the contract. You want to lose ten million dollars? You know, we have other options. What are your other options? Fighting Anthony Durrell for a quarter million? Yeah, he'll get more than that. He'll get more than that. He'll get five, six hundred thousand to fight on that undercard. Seriously, you're passing up ten million dollars. <clears throat> I mean, Caleb Plant's got to go make a fight. Caleb Plant's got to make this fight. I, I do think it'll happen. Caleb Plant doesn't like being dictated to. I understand that. No one does. You want ten million dollars? You want to fight the biggest name in the sport? Who, if you beat, you become a major star, right? And you can make these outrageous demands. Um, go beat Canelo. Take the fight and beat Canelo, and you can do those things. Which I don't think I, I, I don't think it's out of the question. I think if there's anyone at sixty, a uh, sixty-eight, who can beat Canelo, it's him. So we'll see. I still think Canelo plans getting done. If it doesn't, um, I. I I think they're willing to talk, but I, I think the fight will get pushed back. I don't think – I think Canelo will either fight Plant in September or he'll push it back. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, eight minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Please uh, hit the bell icon, subscribe, um, comment share all that good stuff and please our second channel texas boxing scene which is completely dedicated to texas boxing all proceeds go to autism research and recovery please subscribe to that and help us get that monetized um it is july 29th uh ivan calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame let's make that change let's get the iron boy in uh from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.